How's it going guys? So here I got a pair of Common Projects Achilles low top shoes. Now um, I wanted to do an honest opinion about these. I've been hearing uh, or seeing a lot of hype with these Common Project shoes. Um, and well, I just want to give you guys a better understanding and idea of, you know, like what I think about them and if they are worth uh, I think for these, they cost, well, original retail price is about $425, I want to say. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. So these are going to be the Achilles Low White. Um, you know, I was able to pick them up at Saks Fifth Avenue for under retail. Uh, they actually went on sale. And then so I do have the American Express Platinum card. And with that, I was able to get an extra, well, I had a gift card too from Saks Fifth Avenue that I've been, you know, charging up on my Amex. Um, so I actually ended up getting $150 off the sell price. So I want to say it was around like $250 around there. Um, so for me, that was a win-win. Um, like I said, originally these cost $425. Uh, that's almost $500 with tax. But anyway, so this is how the box comes in, the common projects. So there's nothing there, nothing on the side. In the bottom, you do have made in Italy. So for this one, I ended up getting the 41, which I believe the size is gonna be about an eight in Euro. Originally I'm a size 10, but it's really strange on the fitting of the shoe. Um, I would highly recommend going into the store and trying them on. Uh, I normally wear a size 10. Uh, so when it comes down to the sizing of the shoes, originally I'm a size 10 in US. Now, with these common projects, they do run a little narrow, which, you know, I am going to show you. Um, originally, if I were to get my size in the common projects, it would be about a 43. Um, I did try those on. Those were huge on me. For some reason, with, you know, the common projects or even with the EU sizing, the shoes tend to run much larger from my experience. Um, so these are going to be a 41 EU which is a size 8 US. And now remember, I do wear a size 10 in US. So with the EU sizes, they do run big. And um, you also have UK sizes, so it gets really technical. But anyway, so these are gonna be a size 8 in the US, which is originally around a 41 EU. So um, let's go ahead and open up the box. So let me just put that away, there we go. So this is how it comes in. So we open it up. And then these how the shoes come. So you do have a Common Project dust bag. You do right there, Common Projects. It's a nice little dust bag. Let's put that to the side. You also get some extra shoelaces. Common Project made in Italy. So they look. They're like regular shoelaces, we'll throw that. And then here we go, the Come Project. So what I'm gonna do is put them on the lid because I did wear them. Um, so I can give you, you know, like let you guys know if they are worth it or not. So these are gonna be it, the Common Projects. So you got the, I don't know, I know that's the sizing, but I think one of these is a style code. If you guys know, um, leave a comment. Uh, so yeah, so this is gonna be the Common Projects right here, the Achilles Low. You can see the stitching looks really good on these. Of course, you're gonna get some creasing. Yeah, some creasing in there. And that's how the inside looks. So they are a little dirty. There is, you can see right there, some paint that has been coming off on these shoes. Um, I tried cleaning it and it just kind of got worse. I know it's not dirt, so I think it's just like the paint that's coming off. And then you have suede right there in the back, as you can see. That's suede. And you can see the stitching. You also got stitching down there in the bottom. We got the Commer Projects made in Italy. This is the back. Stitching is really nice. And this is the bottom. The bottom is just dirty. 
Um, you know, I, I wear my shoes. I wanted to give an honest opinion about them, how, um, if they are worth 425 and, um, you know, I will be talking about that. Let's see, put them together. Looks like I got to clean them a little bit. You can see them. The late, I mean, the, uh, the tongue. So for quality wise, they do feel really good. They do feel really premium. Um, they do feel really durable. Now, when it comes down to sizing, they do run narrow here. All this runs narrow and they run long. Um, when I had tried on the 42, which is a size nine in the US, I had from the front, I had about this much room. I had a lot of room. Uh, I normally wear a size 10 in Adidas and uh, my Nikes around a 10. I do have some Allen Edmonds shoes and those are about a size nine and a half. Um, now for these, I had to get a size 41 in EU, meaning that my toe is really close to the front, which I don't mind. I do like my shoes feeling really snug. Um, they do stretch out and at first when I had these on, they were so tight on the sides, all this, it was super tight. And um, I just wore them and they did open up and now they actually fit snug. They actually fit good. They actually fit comfortable. I um, feel like currently I'm still breaking them in. Uh, I don't really wear them as much as I thought I would. Um, but you know, I for what it is, they do require some break-in period for these. Um, so I hope that helps with the sizing. Now, when it comes down to like the quality wise, it does feel very, very, very premium, the quality on these shoes. I do like them a lot, um, but going down to the price, to my honest opinion, to me, they are not worth $425. They are not. I rather would spend the extra money and get some Gucci shoes opposed to these because I actually had some Gucci shoes and those actually feel really good. They fit really good on the Gucci shoes. I think the width here is a little more open. Um, so personally, those actually fit me a lot better than these. Um, so I rather would spend the extra money on those opposed to the common projects. Um, if you can get them on sale, great i would you know jump on it um but I, I i feel like these shoes should be roughly under 350 personally in my opinion uh 425 is is pretty high for these shoes um you know i was like i said i was able to get them for around 250 dollars, which was a win-win for me i think the sale price was like three something um and so with my amex card it had a 50 dollar sex with avenue credit a lot of my Amex fans know that, uh, you know, you get these uh, these credits in there. They're actually worth it. Um, so, you know, the last, what is it? I think from January to June, you get $50. And then from July to December, you get another $50. And last year, I just was buying gift cards with that. So I had a $100 gift card. And then, you know, I charged the rest on my Amex. So then I ended up getting an additional $50 off. So it was around like 250 $2 something like that. Um, but yeah, so quick review, common projects. Um, if you like these reviews, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you want me to talk about that Amex card, I was actually thinking about doing a review on them or I'm sorry, on the card. Um, leave a comment, thoughts, ideas, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up. Hope you guys like this quick video. More information and more detail, let me know. Take care, guys.